In this React tutorial you will learn how to fetch data from an API and display it in the front end, in 100 seconds. First you have to run the command npx create react app fetch, then cd fetch. Now open vs code. Let's jump into the code. First, import react. I am going to declare a state using, use state hook. This state will be used for storing the data fetched from the API. For fetching the data we have to use the use effect hook. Now I am going to write another function for fetching data. The function will be asynchronous. As the function is asynchronous it will not interrupt any other tasks. Inside the function I will use a wait, then, fetch function. In the parenthesis we have to pass a string which will be the API itself. I am going to use the JSON placeholder API because it's free and has no API key. After that we have to convert the result to JSON using, dot JSON function. After converting to JSON we will store the data in the previously declared state, and console log the data. At last we will call the function so the function runs. Now let's take a look at the results. Here you can see that we have successfully gotten response and it's an object. Most of the API's return object is response. We can access any element of it like we traditionally use objects in JavaScript. That's useful to know. Now let's display the data in the front end. For displaying name, first curly braces, data, dot name. Still, we will get an error because the data needs to be arrived first. As the data comes after 0.5 or more seconds so it shows an error as the data state is empty. For this we need to add a check. If data is not arrived then it will show loading on the screen. Congratulations! You have successfully fetched an API, stored the value, and displayed it in the front end.